Guitars. They have been a musical icon for decades, but why are there so many? From acoustics to electrics, let's plug in our amps and unfold the truth behind the machines that allow us to create music in various styles and tones. There are many different factors that affect the sound and playability of a guitar. The four main factors are wood, shape, playing style, and neck. So let's compare two very common body types, mahogany and bass wood. As you can see, the mahogany produces a much darker and deeper tone, while the bass wood creates a warmer, more upbeat tone of the same riff. The much easier factor to recognize is shape. Various guitar shapes have evolved from different styles for many decades. Both electric and acoustic, ranging from Telecaster to Stratocasters to V's and Cutaways. Stratocaster shape was one of the first beginning the age of rock and roll and blues music. Then in the 80s until now, obscure shaped guitars began taking storm, showing how style and individualism is expressed throughout guitars. During this time, however, acoustics were still mainstream as well ranging from 6 to 12 strings. As you can see, the 12 string does the exact same thing that a 6 string does. It just plays the note on two octaves rather than one, producing a warmer, smoother tone. We learned while filming this that the playing style of each person affects the way the guitar sounds overall, making guitar styles very different in feel and sound. As you see with Sarah, her playing style revolves around finger picking on the acoustic guitar. However, this style does not work for every type of guitar where Tyler typically uses various effects and speed to his style of playing. The last main factor affecting a guitar and their player is the neck. There are bolt-on and neck-through guitars. 
bolt-on is where the neck is a separate piece than the rest of the guitar, making playability and sustain a little harder but in better fit for replacement if damage occurs, while neck through does the exact opposite. Trying to keep playability and sustain a serious factor for the instrument. Now let's talk to the film crew to see what they have to say about shopping for guitars and their influences. So one thing I noticed when playing guitar is that various guitars excel at different things. So this one here is made for playing fast. So if I were to play like a chord song like so blues or um, more of a country style song, it doesn't really excel or perform as well as an acoustic or more of a uh, fender shaped guitar, so like a Strat. So this one, like if I try and play some chords, it sounds really nice, but it doesn't have a warm or sustainable tone as normal. But then if I start playing fast, like if I put on some distortion, it sounds like how it's supposed to, like. It just works. So, what do you wish for or look for when you're shopping for a guitar? Okay, if we're being honest here, look is a very big thing for me. Um, a lot of my guitars look the same. I tend to go with a just, just black guitar because it is so basic. Um, but as for playability, I like having a cutout so I can go to higher frets and do a lot more with my guitar. Also, um, pickups are a big thing for me because I like to be able to plug into things so that I don't have to mic my guitar. Who are uh, your musical influences? Um, I'd probably say the Beatles for sure because Blackbird is one of my all-time favorite songs. I just think that the finger picking in it is just beautiful and I just really like the style that they uphold through the years. Nice, and like, so how do you use that style for your own good? Like, how do you use that? So I play a lot of country music, or like, some people would say folk music, um, and a lot of pop songs can be turned into a country style type, so it's a lot of finger picking and a lot of chords, so when I think back of to who my influences are, it really shows through with how I play today. So, who are your musical influences? Uh, it would probably be definitely Randy Rhodes and Dave Mustaine. They're both probably my guitar idols because Randy Rhodes, what he did was he added classical style of guitar in the metal with songs like Crazy Train and stuff like that. And then Dave Mustaine, when he went on to his solo band, he just added he took already powerful music and added speed to it. So I like adding like a lot of melodies and speed to my playing to make it like feel more powerful and just to add the cool sound, sounding riffs, riffs and stuff like that. Yeah. What's your style of music that you like to play? Well, ever since I've been a little kid, I've always loved rock music and over time I've just gone to loving uh, hard rock, um, like 80s rock and metal, so stuff like power metal with Black Sabbath, thrash metal with Metallica and Megadeth, and power metal like Iron Maiden and stuff, so I like playing all of those. And uh, I play a little bit of blues as well. Besides that, I usually stick in that sort of area. What do you look for when you're buying a guitar? One thing is definitely looks and playability, so I've learned over time that I love the V's. So I either love this shape or the V where it has the, both fins are the same size. And Jackson provides both of those. I've always loved them. Um, I've tried BC Rich, Fender, Gibson. I've tried e ESP, but Jackson has always been really comfortable to play because they're really light. And no matter where I'm playing, it's very easy to play. So playability and just looks as well. I love the black and green, or the white and black. Those two colors are my favorites. As you can see, guitars are very different from one another, and so are their players. The sounds and tones are endless. 
and so will the evolution behind them.